All right. Got to keep this, uh, I don't know, this turkey train moving on its way to the, the turkey farm factory. Of it. Jesus Christ. All right. So I'm going through the entire NBC2 roster. I'm doing it for um, characters that are specifically for a game called Mugen or Eichmann Go, depending on which one you play on. Um, I'm currently on, I think, Hayato. Hayato is the last person that I did. I'll try to quickly recap the tweaks that I made here. Uh, here's this idle animation. I added a physics drop for his hair and his shoulders, specifically the fabric or the, the tattered portions of the sleeves on, on his uh, little tank top here. And uh, I also added a blink animation to his face so that he blinks. I'll just play it. That's what it looks like. Very smooth. Looks really good. I already tested it in game. The transition between attacks, jumps, uh, alternate movements. It looks beautiful. All right, moving over. Here's the crouch. For his crouch, um, MBC2 is infamous for having just one frame or using one sprite for the crouches. I'm going to try my best to rectify that by uh, tweaking the entire default roster. I think roughly 90% of all of the uh, the crouch animations have just one frame. For Hayato specifically, I did a physics drop for his hair. I did a physics drop for the sleeves on his shirt. And I also fully animated his... um. You know, I fully animated his crouch animation here. Um, I can't tell if this dark pixel underneath his headband is supposed to be his eye. I legitimately have no clue um, because the lighting's kind of wonky. So I didn't put a blink animation on this uh, this crouch animation. I'll just play it. It's what it looks like. The physics drop goes by pretty fast. It loops only on the idle. It shows a fix drop literally one time. I play it again so you can see it. Just play close to his hair and shoulders. As you can see there, it falls into place very smoothly. This crouching animation, I love it. I love it. It's so close. A minute or minor tweak that I made was for the the um not the hilt for the handle on his sword, specifically on the end part, the gold tip or portion of it. Um, I had to, to tweak it so that it didn't flip in and out. It actually changed in shape when uh, he shifted his body forward. Now, as you can see here, it doesn't. I uh, just just a small modification I made between videos that uh, jarred me. So that's it for Hayato. Um, for now, that's all I wanted to do. Um, he's fully animated in his crouch, and his idol's been slightly tweaked to uh, be superior. Alright, I'm going to close this out. I have to move forward. I'm going uh, alphabetically. This is a lot of characters to go through. Keep in mind, I'm juggling a lot of projects too. Just other games, other things that I'm creating. Um, I'm a busy dude. So don't expect my channel to be just restricted to this. But um, you can expect a lot of content from NBC2. So here's Hayato. I'm just I'm simply just skimming with my eyes looking to see who's next. Um who's the next like vanilla or default. One of these hulks is the hulk I have to edit. I'm not sure it may be default. I don't know if default or classic is the hulk I have to tweak. But um I know a way to rectify this. So I'm gonna just back out. Go to data here. I'm going to move down a little my select file. I'm just going to quickly open it up here. I'm going to do a quick search. I believe you can control F it. Yeah, you can control F it. I'm going to put in Hulk. I'm going to see what I can find here. Savage Hulk. Savage Hulk definitely isn't it. This one's more akin to the second Hulk movie. Which means he has slightly longer hair. He has more like a bob cut. And uh, he's slightly more detailed. That definitely is it. Hulk hyphen classic. So Hulk hyphen classic. So this is definitely. Sorry I'm looking at the order here. This is definitely my new Hulk. Um, yeah so this, this is going to open this bad boy up. Close this out.
Now we found the culprit. Open her up. I'm going to um, further back out. Go to character. Find Hulk. Okay, and it was Hulk hyphen classic. So this is the Hulk that I have to modify. Alright, I'll open this bad boy. I'm just going to jump over here. Okay, it's so what we have to work with. I can immediately tell you I've already done modifications to this character. Um, to his crouch and to his uh his idle or standing animation. Also, um I believe this is one of the rare characters that already has a uh, an animated crouch. I'm about to check in a second. I may be confusing him with a different version of the character, uh, which is Savage Hope. But uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna play it. I'm sure it has a physics drop for his hair. It likely has a physics drop for his chest too. He's a bulky character, and uh, a blink animation has been added to um to this idol. Likely, I'll just play it. So it looks like so smooth. Keep in mind while I'm uh while I'm doing this, while I'm just playing it, I'm also collecting uh information. I'm actually um memorizing certain movements that the character is doing here. Very important. I notice when his body shifts back, his hand goes forward. Alright, so let's look at the crouch, see if there's anything that um I need to do or if it's already animated. I can tell you firsthand for the crouch. Given the position of his arms, his arms are spread, right? But at this posture, he'd be flexing the muscles in his chest. I'm not sure if I did. I may have a physics drop for his chest. Hulk is still bulky. But this position, he, he may be clenching the muscles in his chest. So I, I'm not sure if I put one there. I know he has a physics drop for his hair. I know I added a blinking animation. I'm not sure if this crouch is animated. We're about to see here though. Yeah, there's okay, so there's a physics drop for the chest. Um, so for the physics drop, this is hair, his chest, and I'm pretty sure I added a blinking animation. I'm just gonna play it. I'm not sure if this is static though. No, it's not static. See his eye, see the blink. Wow, it looks good. Wow, I can skip the Hulk. So the Hulk has already been modified. I've already tweaked and done physics drop for the Hulk. I just showcased it there. I'm just going to I'm just going to pass by this character. So I'm just going to open it up. Go into characters. Let's go on the hunt. See who's after um, the Hulk. Iceman. Iceman can't have a physics drop. I don't think his character will blink either. Let's open an Iceman. Just, let's, just, it doesn't hurt to take a look. Okay, for Iceman, well, he has eyes, technically. Um, keep in mind, when a person blinks, it's because we, um, you have to naturally blink every once in a while to prevent your eyes from drying. And also, blinking is a defense from dust, debris, particles, anything foreign to the eye. So there's multiple factors for why we blink, but just know we blink because of air. Iceman in this state, covered completely in ice, air wouldn't be an issue. So technically, Iceman should not be blinking. So this was this was kind of iffy. I'll just look at it. Let's just play the animation to see what it looks like. That's what the animation looks like. Hmm. I guess the for the sake of being active, I'm I'm just going to add in a, a animation for him to blink. I love. I use the first frame, which is zero zero. Just for the sake of uh, having activity here, I'll do a duplicate. I'm going to name the duplicate triple one. Blinking is really easy to make. I'm going to jump in like this. My color of choice is always the darkest tone of the skin because it's very clear and concise. It's the point across that the character is blinking. I usually get rid of the uh, the cornea and uh, any, any gradient that is uh, following the outer part of the eye even if the character has like crow's feet or something I usually I take the black right before we get to the wrinkle save it close it not black but the, uh, the darker tone alright so I just closed it out I'm gonna save do a quick save of everything 
um, I'm going to plug this in jump into the animation here I'm going to make an invisible text it's not really necessary I'm going to call it idle I don't have any prep frames you can't really prep frame a, a dude who's made of solid ice uh, zero, one, two, three, three, three. he's got a lot of frames too so because he has so many frames copy it cool I'm just gonna do three we're not sure how these go by pretty fast they, they're working on twos or uh, two frames per second so um, two frames out of a second rather so I'm gonna plug in my animation it's gonna be here remember it worked over zero zero I'm gonna just put triple one here and that's gonna be the blink there it's going to be a very fast blink by the way for the uh, apply close play so watch his eyes there see the blink very fast blink it should be on yes yeah, on a loop start so you can see the blink over and over looks pretty good it's not a bad addition but in my opinion just like um technically he shouldn't blink but um I'll just do it for blink you know for for um activity sake I'll just go over to the crouch again the crouch is just usually work on one frame I'm not sure about this because he has the uh the sparkling animation that they have to work with so he should have multiple I'm gonna play it out he's breathing he's animated wow so MVC2 actually animates um Iceman that's awesome sorry my gears are turning here I'm actually thinking of um things I could could do to tweak this. I think the only thing Iceman needs here, I apologize in advance. This is a very simple this has been some very simple uh work, some very minute tweaks. But sometimes it's like this. Um Iceman is one of those characters that needs like no work. Nothing nothing is physics based on this character. He's wearing no fabrics. He's um technically not encased or um, externally he's not soft flesh he's actually he's ice so this is a very solid character and also NBC2 already animated his crouch animation which uh, saves me some headache here um, for his default I believe his first frame it is 11.4 I'm just toggling through here just to see make sure there's no zero um, no uh, group 11 index zero alright I'm gonna jump over duplicate the default frame I'm going to name this duplication again I work on triples on three digits for the, the index this was going to be triple one because this is a new um it's, it's a new edit that's in the, the group 11 I'm going to open this up I'm going to do the same thing I did for the um the idle or the stance animation I'm just going to take this darkest tone and I'm just going to copy it right over the eye like that to um simulate or mimic him blinking this looks like his pupil right here where I'm sitting the reticle that's fine I, I don't like how it goes all the way over like this towards the um, front of his forehead I'm actually thinking here just because I know my reshade is going to read it as a um it's going to read it's going to um basically blend all of this together and it's gonna it's just gonna look like a line a line being created on his face so what I'm gonna do is put a lighter tone right above his nose just to get a slight separation there like that okay I'm gonna save it close it save all the sprites and then let's let's go apply it again my rule of thumb whenever I edit the, uh, the idle or the crowd any animation in general um, I try to put invisible text indicating what I'm looking at and I always triple up the entire set whenever I'm adding a blink so that's what I'm going to do here just triple it up one well two three and then for the triple and again these work fast they're sitting on tools I might do four now let's try let's try three and it was 11 4 so I'm gonna do I'm gonna put my new frame right here again um, 
two out of 60 frames is very fast. I'm going to play it. Watch his eyes there. You can see the blink. It should repeat. It's not sitting on a loop start, but I don't need a loop start because he doesn't have physics dropping. There you go. There's a new blink animation for Iceman. Very simple modification, but it, it really brings the character to life. I'm actually happy about this one. I'm glad Iceman already, NBC2 did a, a um, they were diligent and they did a good job. They put energy towards um, actually animating this crouch, which I, I do appreciate. I'm just annoyed when I see a character that doesn't have a, a full animation. So um, I'll end the video here. I'm sure this, this has been a pretty long video. I'll, uh, I'll label this video Iceman. Um, for the thumbnail, I'll try to create because I'm sure it won't uh, it won't automatically um, create it when I post the video. So I'll try to manually create a thumbnail for this that's um, showcasing Iceman here. And um, that's pretty much it. God bless.